Hey there friends. Welcome to the second video in our Thank You Thursday series. So remember, hashtag Thank You Thursday. If you've had an awesome experience and you want to share this on social media, use this hashtag so that we can all find you and what you're experiencing. And that's where I want to start is I just want to ask, how has it been going? Thank you for watching the first video last week, my first video post ever, and for applying this and using this in your life. I would love to hear how it's changing you, how maybe it's gotten into your heart, and the things that you or your family are doing to really implement being more grateful and acting on that. We talked about that last week, that make, we need to make gratitude an action. I was reading a book that I'm really into lately, um, this morning I was reading, and it's a book by Brene Brown, and it's called The Gifts of Imperfection. It's a fantastic read. I'll probably talk about it more at a later date. And I came upon her chapter about gratitude, and she talks about making gratitude a practice. And I loved that because that's exactly what this is. When we put our gratitude into action, we're practicing. And as we practice, we get better and better. So make your gratitude a practice today. Um, so how did you apply it? Is it going well? Let me know. I would love to hear feedback. Um, for me, here's what I've noticed. I'm meeting people's eyes when I thank them on a much more regular basis because I feel that gratitude at a different level. And, and I'm trying to express that, to be really sincere when I say, wow, thank you. Um, I am thinking forward. Okay, who can I thank? Who blesses my life? What can I do to say thank you or to express my gratitude to that person? I'm so, I'm just, I feel like I'm just ever more aware as I think about this Thank You Thursday initiative and I hope that you are too. So let's talk about the next four weeks. So this is week number two. There are five Thursdays in the month of November. So I will be doing five videos. This is... This is where we're gonna jump into some things that are a little more specific. So what I wanna to talk to you today about is a very, very specific way that we can give gratitude and that we can make gratitude an action and that it can be very, very impactful um, in our life. And that is through prayer. Uh, there's no one that deserves our thanks more than God. And I love this concept that we can take however many prayers we want. If it's just our morning prayer, just our evening prayer, every prayer throughout our day for a week, um, make it just a thankful prayer where we don't ask for anything. We just think. And as we do this, it really, really makes an impact. So I received this challenge from a friend of ours a few years back to say prayers of gratitude for one week, solid. Every single prayer, meals, families, at church, wherever it was, out loud, in my mind, the prayer in my heart, um, to just be grateful. And so I said, okay, no problem, I will do that. And the first couple of days were really simple. And then after that, it got a little more challenging because I found myself wanting to ask and I don't that's not a bad thing that can be part of our prayers but this particular challenge was just to think and I, I found myself wanting to think of me and well, I need this and I need help and um, but being thankful and making that my focus for that week changed my heart it made me much more humble and much more aware of how much God is working in my life every day and it was a few days or weeks, I can't remember, but it was very brief, uh, very shortly after that, that I was preparing to speak to a group of women at church. And I realized that I was talking to them about music and I had these songs to sing, but my whole topic, I didn't have a song that summed it all up. And it was only a week away and I freaked out. But then these thoughts started to come, well, Michelle, you could write a song about that, but it was really close. And so I thought, there's no way. But I sat down at the piano, ideas came, and this song, 
I wrote in two days. I've never written a song that fast. And I know that it was because I had been prepared through that week of gratitude prayer to be humble enough to receive that message. And it's one of my favorite songs to this date because of what it talks about. And every time I listen, I hear those words and I know that they're not mine. They are the words of a God who loves me and loves all of us. And that was the message that he wanted to have his daughters hear during that meeting and whoever else hears the song. So um, if you're wondering which song that was and you've heard my music, it's the song His Daughter. So now that you know, now you know a little bit about the story behind that. So that's my invitation to you this week is to choose how often you want to pray make this your practice. Choose if it's going to be just your morning prayer or just your evening prayer or all the time or if you want to do the whole week every single prayer or maybe it's just your family prayer and you want to bring your kids and your husband or your spouse um, if you're a man watching this. If you want to bring all of your family into this, great, do it. Help them feel the power of this movement as well. Um, I think that's what we'll do as a family, that we'll have our family evening prayer be only a prayer of gratitude. So you decide what works best for you. So in our prayers, we are only thankful for however long you want to do this challenge. Um, I am so grateful for the changes that I am seeing as I go forward in this Thank You Thursday attitude because it's morphing into just more than a thank you Thursday. It's a thank you all the time. So have a great day and I'll talk to you again next week.